What's the tea, fam, pals? What's the tea, darling? So, today we gonna do an experiment on my Mil Tony Opsis, honey, that I wasn't having success with, okay? We are going to repot her, but we're not gonna put her in spatina moss. We're not even gonna do water culture. Honey, I'm gonna try to put her in some potting soil. Stay tuned. <laughs> all of my trash and stuff honey but get out my trash what i wanted you to see was the type of media that she came out of which was um some coconut husk and honey whatever the media was it was very broken down and you always want to look at where it came from so you are, you don't want to build a new house with old bricks fab pals so you want to know where she came from so you will know where she going. So this is the type of pot that she came out of. And because I was repotting my pothos, um, as well as my Meltoniopsis, I looked at the media. The media seems to be fairly the same to the potting soil, as well as the roots. So let's now go ahead and have a little experience. Orchids. It was hard for me to determine um, who gets these type of pots. Um, so the pot that I chose to use was, um, I would have originally used this one, but because, because the holes on the bottom are so big, I believe the potting soil will just come right on out. So I'm going to use this one right here because my fail pal Maxine told me that I should add a little bark because the roots like um, ventilation in them. So this is the best pot for any type of ventilation and for any type of experiment. So stay tuned, Fail Pals, let's go. So Fail Pals, this is what I was left with after I removed those plugs. As you can see, I'm not gonna spray it with hydrogen peroxide. What I'm going to do is just um, put it in that rainwater I just wanted you to see the roots. I'm glad that I went ahead and removed it from the pot because this was sure to go. This was sure to go, just like my um, Uncidium Wildcat Golden Star. I let her go all the way back to one pseudobug. Um, this right here is very healthy, good root system. So um, perhaps this would be the one that I pot up and perhaps that would be the one that I start water culture on. And that would be a nice experience. Okay, foul pal, so this is my um, Miltoniopsis. I call myself having the pseudobulbs sitting on top of the water, and I'm just letting them soak in here before I choose to either repot them or decide whether or not I'm starting water culture, okay? They're just in there chilling um, to the best of their abilities, okay, foul pal? Um, what I did was I chose to put it in potting soil. I put it in the... Um, in the container or the pot that had the most holes because my fail pal um, Maxine um, told me that they want um, air circulation around their roots, okay? I put just a little bit of bark at the bottom of it and um, I layered it with just um, a little moss on top, okay? And that was just to keep a little humidity around it because I don't know which way it will grow if it does grow. But just from this division, I mean, it looked healthy. It was dying in the pot, so that's why I chose to put it out to do the experiment with. This is the other part of the Miltoniopsis that I am going to do water culture on until I see new, um, new growth, some type of new root production or some honey. So um, she has been here been here all day, so I'm now going to pour the water out and let her sit in there overnight. Okay. So, foul pals, no, unfortunately, you cannot plant your Miltoniopsis orchid into potting soil. The leaf turned yellow recently because it's been about two weeks or so that I have actually done anything to these guys. I gave up on them quite a few uh, weeks ago because no new root production, no new pseudobulbs, no new leaves, no spikes, no nothing. And it's okay for an orchid to go dormant for a while. But ultimately, I think a big major part of this orchid is that you had um, some Miltoniopsis orchids that really loves bright sunlight. Now, my orchids, I had them about five to 10 feet away from the window, which isn't too far, but I'm believing that they might have liked um, a lot of indirect 
sunlight as far as as bright as it can go without the sun sitting on the leaves. Now, the roots, they still look the same. So, it wasn't any type of sign that said, hey, the roots look bad. Let's take it out of the pot. This isn't working. It was kind of like a wait and see. And as I've become more accustomed to growing orchids, I'm learning that if they do not thrive in my environment, oh, well, stay tuned. But not least is the... um. Miltoniopsis orchid that I did the water culture on. As you can see, the leaves are still green and firm. Again, it's been two weeks or so that I have done anything to this orchid. And still no new root production, no new pseudobulbs or anything. So this baby is going to go in the trash as well. So foul pals, the Miltoniopsis orchid, I'm not going to say that they don't thrive in my environment. I'm just going to say that this one right here might have been a dud. So, I hope I was able to teach you guys something. I always make sure to please like, comment, and subscribe, darling, to the People's Channel. All right, until next time. Bye.